guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> I am Sherry Ann Shimatero and this is Brian. You, you know what that sounded like? That sounded like um, like a voicemail. Brian Shimatero is not at the phone right now. Please leave a message. We are Rowena Francis. I thought we were Brian and Sherry. Okay, is this a Brian and Sherry show? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, welcome to our channel. We are doing a series on the names of God. And today we are going to jump into a new name, which is Jehovah Metshodathi. Mm -hmm. The Lord, my fortress. My fortress. You know, as we start on that today, what's one of your favorite superheroes? What's your favorite superhero? My favorite superhero, um, Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts. Wait, is she a superhero? Well, Find think... Wonder Woman. Well, Wait, you know, Pepper Iron Potts, Man. Pepper Potts dressed up and, Thanos. And, and has her own little Iron Man suit, you know. Don't oh, you remember yes, you I... know, her in the Iron Man suit? I mean, she's just as superheroish as uh, Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really watch movies. Right. You don't? <laughs> I watch movies. I'm pretty sure you did watch the. Uh, you <laughs> I know, do remember that though. Okay. That, remember, you know, where yes. all the, like, the the teen girls were getting together at the end, you know, to defeat, you know, the enemy and and, and the end game, and it was that like, I come know. on, girls, and they're all like, Rawr, and, oh yeah, and then you know she comes along, and you know one of the Iron Man suits and whatnot. Okay, who's your favorite superhero? Ooh, that's a pretty complicated uh, question. Your favorite is Pepper Potts. <sighs> <laughs> maybe, maybe my favorite is and mine. Pots. And my favorite is Iron Man. Okay, just kidding. What's your favorite? Who's your favorite superhero? You know, I, that is a very complicated question. But I'm going to say I have. I think I have a few favorites uh, um, amongst them. But I, I'm going to say that one of my favorites is absolutely a classic. Is Superman? You know, Superman is just he's, he's a man of steel. I mean. It's faster than a speeding bullet. I mean, it's debatable if he's even, you know, faster than the Flash. You know, I mean, they've had a race now a few times. You know, uh, I'm sure many people will debate debate that over and over. But I mean, this is this is a man, and, and but I love his storyline. Like his storyline was just it was so simple, right? And it was just talking about you know the humanity. He's got vulnerabilities as a superhero. Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Right? You know, and it just, there's all these things, you know, about, you know, his parents' love for him and, you know, his adopted parents. And, and uh, anyways, I just, lo I, I, I love Superman. Superman is, is great. And I, I mean, I've loved all of the movies. I've liked the comics, you know, all the TV shows. They've just been cool. Right? And one of the things that I found, I said, is with the vulnerabilities of Superman is, is that every once in a while, he had to go to a place of solitude the fortress of solitude the fortress that of solitude. solitude yeah it actually whoa chalk one up there for sherry yeah i didn't even know you were paying attention to that part of the movie well every once in a while i get a little nugget <laughs> <laughs> so i mean he's got this this amazing fortress that's you know like up in the arctic and uh you know it's hidden away and you know his dad gives him you know instructions there and and he he's He's able to, you know, refresh there. He's able to regroup there. Mm -hmm. He's able to, like, gain knowledge in there. And there's this safety in the fortress. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, you know, I'd cool. like to have my own fortress, you know, one day, too, I think. One day. Maybe one day, one day you think? I think so. You know, you know who else was, who, who was really into fortresses? David. David. King David. We talk a lot about King David. David. But I don't honestly, know what's going on with this guy. This guy is a top notch above the rest, I think. Yeah. Um, but David liked fortresses, and he actually talks about he relates God to a fortress, and yeah. this is where we get the name Jehovah Metshodathi, yeah. which is the Lord our fortress. Well, wait, wait. Listen, this is a guy who is a man of war. So if there's a guy out there who knows a little bit about what a fortress is, taking a fortress, conquering one, being held up inside of a fortress while your enemies are trying to kill you, this is the guy who knows about fortresses. And so this is... This is a, yeah, I mean, this guy, <laughs> he was a man of war. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. So I want to read, actually, in Psalms, Psalms 18.2. That sounds like a familiar verse. It is. Oh, you know why? Because we've been going through Psalms 18 too. Yeah. Yeah. I have. All right, go ahead. Read. Okay. Psalms 18 too. It says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. There's that verse again with six names of God all, we read all, that first all last time. wound up in one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, anyways, a few years ago, we actually had an opportunity to go on a cruise. We love cruising. And mm -hmm. uh, we stopped by the old city of San Juan in Puerto Rico. Oh my goodness. San this is Juan. by far one of my favorite places to visit. And um, we, didn't, we had never been there before. So we decided that we were just going to go off and explore. And we heard that there were some uh, castles or fortresses that were there that were worth seeing. Mm -hmm. So we decided to go and we decided to go to both of them and it was definitely worth it. It was amazing. Yeah. I mean, they were massive, massive. Yes. Yeah. And here, here's the thing about San Juan, right? Is, is the, especially old San Juan is, is you could walk around it in the course mm -hmm. of a day. So like, you know, mm -hmm. we got off of the boat, you know, we were able to walk through the old parts of the city, which by the way, is one of the really cool cool parts uh, about San Juan is when you come in and out of port is you get a, a view of all of like this like the city uh, uh, the buildings yeah right? and they're all painted oh. all these different colors it's right? amazing if you ever yeah. have an opportunity to travel to the old city of San Juan mm -hmm. do it because it's worth it yeah so so anyways we're walking around we're doing all that and then we go to this place and, and you can't miss it you know it's like this, this this these fortresses are something like you know in excess of like you know 70 acres mm -hmm. I mean we're talking acres um, Isn't it? Doesn't it span like the whole one side of the island? Pretty well, yeah. I mean, like it's like there's like uh, this the really big one, which is uh, the San Cristobal uh, portion of it, mm -hmm. and then it's kind of like there's a gap in between, and then it goes over to the other one, which is uh, okay. El Moro, and uh, you know El Moro I think is something like like six six stories high. Yeah. And they're all built, you know, up on the high ground, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like kind of on like a, like, you know, up, up on a hill on a rock. Yeah. And when you stand there, you can just, you literally can see out into the ocean mm -hmm. for miles. It is amazing. It's a beautiful sight. Yeah. The, the whole, the whole border of that area was all built up walls. Yes. Right. Yeah. And uh, the walls were, were, were pretty darn, the whole experience was just amazing. Right. And so you're walking in, you know, from like side to side within this within these these fortresses i mean it literally i mean this is something that we walked around with what like eight hours that day yeah it, it was like this is like it was what day. we did it was a full day of walking around mm -hmm. and you got to see kind of how they how they built things and it was and what was important about it do you even remember why it was important it, it was something about like if you um like whoever had control of the fort had control of the whole island right somewhat i mean okay, fine, that, that's relevant of course <laughs> yes if you have control of the four you control the island no, no, no but it was like nobody could come or go without like whoever had control of that fort they you know okay. basically managed that so san juan first of all <laughs> okay, is fine, what you would us. call like a royal city especially during the uh the spanish you know armada days right mm -hmm. like this was like one of the the royal ports and so it was there to build and, and protect the fort and so what's interesting about fortresses is that they they managed to, you know, the community that's around the fortress actually becomes kind of like part of the fortress. And so mm -hmm. even if, you know, so the safety of the fortress protects all them. And then if they need to, they can retreat all into the fortress mm -hmm. and then they're all, they're all safe. Right. And so it's in the midst of the Caribbean, it's a central spot there. And it was just there to, you know, protect from any type of uh, enemy invasions. And so uh, these these were one of the largest uh, fortresses that were that were made during this whole you know era of time, and, and they just kind of you know kept building and getting bigger and bigger you know over time. And, you know they have bunkers and, and I, I, anyways they're just I love fortresses, I love castles and all these neat things. And um, I think what's kind of neat about them too is it was just like you know you hear sometimes about like layers of fortifications. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of so neat to be able to see the layers of the fortifications. It's like, all right, here's at the exterior wall. And then it's like, if they breach the exterior wall, here's like another wall that they got to get through. And then if they get through that wall, then they got to get through this wall. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's like bunkers here, you know, and all this, you know, like the, the food storages, all these different things. It was just, yeah. it was just incredible. They're, they're cool, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, one of these days, I think I'm just going to buy myself a fortress. One right, day I'm going back to old San Juan again. Yeah, we'll call it, you know, uh, you know, Fortress San Charamataro, <laughs> right? And, the, you know, the Charamataro. The cemetery fortress. Yeah, the cemetery <laughs> fortress is a place where you go to die. There you go, right? 
<laughs> it's part of you know what our family okay, okay, name okay. is, right? You know the cemetery. <laughs> yes, it would be cool to have a fortress one day. I but, make a cement the shoes. But this is one of the things that mm. David related to God, and he really saw God as you know uh, running to him, and God was that solitude. God was that place. And actually, mm -hmm. even in the in um, is it the Psalms where it says He prepares a table before us in the presence of our yes. enemies. You yep. know. Yep. Um, actually, I want to read it. It says in Psalms twenty three five. It says, "You prepare a table before." me in the presence of my enemies mm -hmm. you anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows and this is one of those things where you know as God is our fortress and we can run to him for safety mm -hmm. we know that we could be dining in the solitude of the fortress Absolutely. while all our enemies are trying to you know um, come through the walls and whatever on the outside but because the fortress is fortified that is God he is our fortress mm -hmm. he is our fortification then yeah. they cannot get through they yep. cannot um, you know sink through those walls and so we are protected and this is what David is talking about when mm -hmm. he's saying that he is my Jehovah Metshadathi. He is my fortress. He is my safe place. He is that safety in which I rest. That's true. Right. And, you know, when you're sitting on some of, like, some of these walls, you know, were, were like, you know, in excess of 40 feet high. Mm -hmm. And some of and them thick, were, were, were like, even 40 feet wide. Like, yeah. I mean, some of, you know, you read some of these stories, you know, they got houses and everything else on top on of On top of the walls. So, you know, so you know, we're talking a while for these people to uh, manage to break through or breach these particular walls. Yes. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I do love that song, you know, talking about, yeah, you know what, you can truly eat in the midst of your enemies, uh, you know, inside of a fortress. And so this is David's. This is the story of David's life. I mean, David, you know, we, we learned, I mean, he's been hunted. He's been he's pursued. On the run. I mean, he's in wilderness fortresses mm -hmm. and, and, and all these different things, right? And it's just a matter of, you know what? God is my fortress. Mm -hmm. God is the one that, he's my safe place. You know, when I'm, when I'm being hunted, when I'm being pursued, when the enemy's knocking at my door, when fear is there, when death is upon me, I can still run into that safe place where God is, is, is my fortress. And, and it doesn't just protect me, but it protects my family. It protects my community. It protects those you know, who are around me as well. It's a safe place, it says, we can run into. And, uh, and I, I, think, I love that. I, I think in this moment and you know, in, in the world that we live in today, we could all use a safe place. And Absolutely. especially when you just don't even know what a safe place is, know that God can be that safe place for you. And he's willing to be that safe place for you. Yes. So why don't you lead us in prayer? All right, we're going to pray today. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that today you are Jehovah Method Shaddai. I thank you, Lord, that you are my safe place. I thank you, Lord Jesus, in the midst of trials, in the midst of tribulations, in the midst of chaos and fear going on in this world, Lord, that I can come to you, that I can run into your fortress, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you can have my hedge, Lord, that you're my protection, that your angels, Father God, that they surround us, Lord. I thank you, Lord, in the midst of that fortress, Father God, that I can find safety. I can find prosperity. I can find, Father God, all the provisions that I need, for you are my sufficient one this day. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that as Jehovah Meth Shaddai, that, Father, you're the strong fortress. You're an unbreakable fortress. You're going to stand through, Father God, through the test of time. I thank you, Lord, that you stand firm upon. You're the strength to me, and I can stand upon, Father God, you this day. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing in our lives. I thank you for the lives of those around us. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that the community, Father God, can come together within the fortress of who you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us, guys. We will see you back here again in the next video. Shh.